this is Sonu Sharma and welcome to my Unity Dev Tutorials. So today I'll be teaching you how to make an object follow other object. That is basically we are going to work on enemy AI script. You can call it enemy AI script. So let's get started today. So what are we going to do? First of all, we want a plane. So let's take a plane. Go to game object, video object, and plane. I'll position it. Zero, zero. Now what we want is we want an object which should follow an enemy. So I want a cube first. So let's take a cube. This is my cube. Now this cube will be following our enemy. So I want an enemy. So let's take. Uh, uh, let's take spear for it. So let's take a spear. Now I have taken this sphere. Now I want this object to follow this sphere at whatever position it is. So let's do it. So we want a script to attach this. Like we want to write a script for that so that it should follow this sphere whenever it is moving. So let's do it. Go to your project panel, right click and create a C sharp script. I will name it um, follow AI script. Follow AI. I'm gonna develop this open. So what do we want? We want this sphere. And this cube. Now this is our target position. So we want this cube to move at this target position. So we will define it first. So we'll have to define a target position, right? So let's define it. Public transform transform and my target. My target. We want that cube to move in with the particular speed. So let's do that as well. We want public load. My speed, which is 10.0f. I am taking it. You can take it whatever you want. And we want this cube to look at its target position so we'll have to define that target direction as well and look looking direction so let's take it vector 3 and my direction is I have defined so let me tie this script to the cube why am I attaching this script to this cube? Because I want this cube to follow my sphere. So that is why I'm attaching it to the cube. So let's attach it. I, this is my target. So I'll take sphere as my target. You can change the speed of moving from here. So now I we already have a look at function in Unity. So let's use it. So in update we'll write transform transform dot look at. But here we go. We have a look at function in Unity that is embedded. Now it should look at my target. So my target position dot position now if now I want my transform position like I want that cube 
to move along the sphere so I'll have to calculate this distance so let's do it transform dot position minus my target position what is my target position the sphere is my target position so my target position position with the magnitude with the band. yeah with the magnitude okay transform dot translate Transform dot translate. Translate. So it will move to that direction. So zero point zero F comma zero F comma my speed with the speed and two time dot delta time. Let's check it out. Right click. Wait, I'm having a compiler error. Let me check. With transform the transfer from the position minus and target the position that magnitude yeah okay let's take an epsilon value let me check constant float e is i Around which is greater than no, which is equal to sorry which is equal to 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 right that's it right. now this magnitude will be greater than this epsilon so yeah now let's check it out once again I play. Now you can see that this cube moved towards the sphere. Now let me make the game scene bigger. And now you can check it out. You can see that. Let me play. Now you can see that this cube is facing towards that sphere and moving. You can see that this cube is facing towards it and moving. So this was a simple enemy follow AI which I have implemented with the help of cube and sphere. Now what if you don't want uh, this cube to look at the sphere and you just want it to move. So let's do it. Let's do that as well. So let me comment out this. Why am I writing everything again? That is because you will understand it properly. So let's do it. In the update function, we'll be taking m look my look direction, target direction, right? Will be my target direction, right? My target dot position minus transform of that cube. So transform transform 
that position that position right and let's normalize it dot normalize normalize okay now the same thing will be written like if the transform dot position minus target dot position one so let's copy this one copy this one paste it here then what we want we want uh, that cube to move towards this sphere without looking at it we want this cube to move towards the sphere without looking at it so transform transform dot translate translate and it should move towards that cube number direction into time so delta time into speed okay. so let's check this out as well this is uh, I have m speed rules okay. I have m speed that is like a showing error okay so let's play So you can see that it is moving. Let me show you in the scene. Now you can see that it is not looking at it. It is directly moving towards the sphere and it is not looking towards the sphere. So whenever you want, you can let this cube look towards that sphere and move so if you want an enemy to look towards the player you can attach the earlier script and if you want that enemy to simply move towards this player you can attach the script so this was a simple enemy ai which you can implement in first player controller game or in whichever game 2d game 3d game you are developing so this was all for today thank you for watching